Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to make something really cool out of this old painted basic pine hatch that I got from one of my work friends. As you can see it wasn't even painted on the inside, at least some of the pieces. Someone used chalk paint and this is just as basic as it gets. Where I live, this piece of furniture is called Welsh Dresser, but I think most people know it as a hatch. Anyhow, I didn't like anything about it, and because one of the pieces of glass was missing, I decided to replace it with something completely different. There was a lot of paint on this hatch to remove and I wasn't sure what was the best way to do it so I tried several different methods and I started by using my sound blaster. I also wanted to keep the light fixtures and reuse them so I marked all the wires because otherwise I wouldn't be able to know how to connect them back as it just wasn't clear. When I work with pine, I always try to do something to make it look a bit more interesting as it's typically made with many different types of boards with grain going in all sorts of directions and knots and it just isn't very visually appealing. I wanted to make the grain look 3D and I've done something similar with an island brush before and in this case I'm actually using some blaster that gives me a very similar result. Basically, when you use a sand blaster or a nylon brush, the soft portion of the wood gets removed faster than the harder portion and it creates a 3D effect. And I just think it looks much better than just plain pine board. Similarly to sandpaper, nylon brushes come in many different grids. So this actually allows you to control the depth and the 3D effect simply by choosing different grids and how long you work the area. You will see this in the video, but this takes a very long time. So if you want to do something like this, just be ready to spend many hours. Day two. Day three. This took absolutely forever, but I wanted to do something special for this hatch and I was determined to just do it on the entire piece. And obviously it started to rain because I live in England. And here you can see what I'm talking about. Where have you been? Aww. You got a haircut. Are you alright? I haven't seen you in like a month or more. Have you been on holiday? You look tiny without your fair. Your head is so small. <laughs> I was wondering what happened to you. Give your YouTube friends a kiss. 
Day four. Because there was paint everywhere, I decided to take the drawers apart because it was just much easier to clean them up this way. And also there were some ink stains in the bottoms, so I tried to address those as well. I tried alcohol at first, one of you actually suggested it, but it didn't really do much. So I tried acetone and it worked much better, but I think just because the stains were just so deep in the grain, I wasn't able to remove them completely, but it did make a huge difference. It looked good enough because I knew that I would stain the whole hatch anyway, so I was pretty happy with it. thousand years later One eternity later. You didn't think I was finished already, did you? <laughs> I honestly spent three and a half, maybe four days doing nothing but sanding, sandblasting and using the nylon brush. This was just brutal amount of work. This is probably a good moment to say a huge thank you to all of you wonderful and generous people for supporting my channel using my Amazon links, buying me coffees via buy me coffee or by hitting the super thanks button. I really appreciate it and it means a lot to me. I don't know if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, but I actually started posting a lot on Facebook, so check it out because there is a lot going on. And as always, special thank you to all the channel members and all the links are in the description if you're interested. Despite all the sanding, I wasn't able to get all the paint out of those grooves, so I used a little bit of stain to fix the problem. Because the backboard was actually in a very good shape, all it needed was a little bit of restore finish and it looked great. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I always take care of the back, the bottom, the inside, basically every single part of the piece that I work on. So that's what I did with this one. It was actually in a reasonable good condition, so it needed a little bit of sanding and cleaning and I was pretty happy with it. When you apply stains or finishes, Grain on soft woods can raise quite significantly, so to avoid it, I sprayed the entire piece with water and I let it dry. Mm. 
I've just spent four days sandblasting, sanding, and nylon brushing this hatch. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. And I'm just gonna swap the nylon brush to 120 and I'm just gonna go over the whole thing one more time. I might take a short crying break first. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing all over again. Anyhow, when I got to the light fixtures, I had a feeling that this might be brass. So I used a sanding sponge and just lightly sanded them and yeah, that's what it was. So I was pretty happy. Unfortunately, the hinges were not brass, so I spray painted them. And I also sealed them just to make sure they were more durable. And I also did exactly the same to the rest of the hardware. So this is my plan for the glass doors. I got these from a big box store and because they have tongue and groove I wanted to remove them so I would be able to glue those boards together and have larger panels. That took a little bit of time, but I needed a panel that was a little bit thicker than the glass that was in the door previously. But because I didn't have anything suitable and I couldn't find anything at the store, I had to make them. To make it work I had to cut the boards into smaller pieces so I could put them in my laser. I really wanted some cool design that I could cut into those panels and I'll be using the X2 P2 CO2 laser for this project. What's really cool about this machine is that it's got cameras so when you put the material that you want to work on inside it will take a picture like what you see here. And then whatever pattern you've got, you can see what it will look like on top of it. You can resize it, you can move it around, you can copy and paste it, do all sorts of stuff. Also, it's got a feature that it will measure the thickness of the material, what I'm doing here, automatically. So you don't even need to know. You basically just stick it into the machine, it will measure the thickness and you're all set. It's that simple. Obviously this footage is sped up because I'm cutting not engraving and this is I think seven or eight millimeter pine board so as you can see the cut is just perfect there's no burn marks everything just comes out easily and yeah super nice. It also has this handy tray that you can take out and remove all those pieces that you don't want. Because I did an unboxing video and I talked about this laser, I'm not going to repeat myself and I'll link the video in the description if you want to find out more. But as always, I have a discount code if you would like to buy one. This is a fantastic machine and what I really like about it is that it's got gas extraction and a hose that I can take outside of my workshop so I can actually use it while doing something else and there is no smoke at all. Because of the shape of the doors, I had to make some adjustments and cut another little piece from test panels that I made before, but yeah, this worked really well. These were a bit thicker than the glass panels that were in the doors originally, just because this is wood and I wanted it to be strong enough. But because those panels also had to fit into the groove, this is what I did to make it work.
And as I mentioned before, I'm just using one of the panels that I made earlier just to test the design to get the extra piece that I needed to fill the entire space. And I'm glad to say that when I glued the entire panel in place using translucent glue, so you wouldn't be able to see it, it was actually really strong. Because these panels were thicker than the glass and the glue was translucent and the fit was good, there was no need for the trim that I removed from the panel originally, so I was pretty happy with the way it looked. I also felt like I had to do something to the drawer front just to make the look cohesive. So I was thinking about engraving the pattern but making it quite deep. But I changed my mind and I did something different and you'll see in a minute what I did. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I don't like the look of pine, so I stained the whole thing with uh, walnut. And because this is a large piece of furniture and it was a lot of staining, I just used my spray gun to make it easier and also I think this just gives you a better finish. Like I said, I wanted to do something with the drawer fronts, so I flipped them upside down just to get a nice and flat surface and I used the leftover panels that I had and I glued them on top. And with a little bit of work, some stain, they looked pretty cool. When the stain was dry, I gave the hatch multiple coats of satin finish until I was happy with the look. As I'm spraying the finish on, you can see the 3D effect in the grain and you'll be able to see it really well in the photos, but I was very happy with the way it looked. I put all the electrical bits in 
and I actually used some of the smart light bulbs that I had in the house so I could control it with my phone or voice you can change the color and the brightness so just gives you extra effects I was actually thinking for a while about making wooden shelves instead of the glass but then I realized that the light wouldn't be able to pass through them so I left the glass shelves and I'm actually very happy I did because I like them I had these brass handles that I bought for a different project and never used them and I thought they were just perfect for this hatch so I just measured the distance between the holes, transferred them onto the hatch and installed hardware. I used my favorite orange scented wax on the entire piece inside and out just because I like the scent and I was pretty much done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you did and enjoy the final photos. See you in the next video!